Hello world, I am Ajay Chaudhary. Today I am glad that I came up with a great response and I have chosen so, some questions the first question that they would answer all your queries. So let's get this. I paint mostly abstract and it's a multi-dimensional abstraction in many sense and it's a, a mostly play with medium mostly acrylic at times with charcoal on paper also but mostly acrylic playing with form playing with treatment playing with composition playing with distortion playing with applications it's it's a uh, basically in a different way but at the same time carrying the same thought same principle forward but without repetition i'll say and wow. we term it like mostly it's a like kind of a third generation of new york school of abstraction and wow. thank you so would you like to trace the genesis of your work Genesis of my work is like, you know, its uh, main foundation is philosophical, it's spiritual, and the process is little peculiar, peculiar in a way that it's like a meditation, you know, and uh, it's like uh, it's like making still your body your mind, your soul, and you know, you become one with a larger soul and you gain uh, uh, light he has in you. It's, it can't be totally expressed in word. It's, it's a feeling, it's a uh, kind of observation. But my, my in the in that way you achieve i achieve more than what one can achieve by reading a book or you know um, um, uh, abstraction in a way it's a uh, i'll say i consider it to be a most creative because you are not copying from anything from nature and it's you have to be original every time you have to be different you have to be non monotonous you have to experiment differently at diff at every time oneself again and again then it, it's a, it's not an art it's become i'll say a craft or something else so for an abstractionist he, ha he has to be very very focused and i tend to do that uh, uh, thank you can you list artists who inspired you uh, there are many artists, but mostly from New York School of Abstraction because the kind of abstraction, the kind of minimalism, the kind of boldness, the kind of color application, you know, I f found, I find myself resonate with first uh, generation of New York School of Abstraction and second generation too, like the work of Kadensky, and later on, the work of Mark Rutko, Pollock, uh, and uh, such painter. In India, I like the work of Raja, Goetonde, um, uh, and many more. So it's a, I'll say it's a journey, it's a progression. Uh, I had to inquire and uh, discover something really you know, next stage, what a uh, new level, you know. Uh, I have to inquire and uh, discover something really, you know, next stage, what a uh, new level, you know, to, to, to prove myself. So that's why I'm experimenting and progressing and um, uh, what drives you uh, uh, i don't know logic. really it's, it's can't be it, uh, like explained with logic and 
you know, it's beyond uh, logic. I just feel basic like I have to pay. And uh, this is my, my basic duty on earth. Important job also. Uh, but Although I am this a, is um, the thing I other found important job also. I am at but home. This I'm is painting. the thing so I found. It's, uh, it's attached I am to at my home you know, while I am painting. So maybe some uh, uh, past life connection to my soul. or something like this. And but I can't maybe some uh, without painting. Past life connection without or something uh, like this. Artwork. But it's I can't live uh, without painting. Uh, Kind of Without doing uh, art, therapeutic. It's it's healing. Uh, it's kind of inner satisfaction. Therapeutic. It's inner happiness. It's healing. It's inner satisfaction. It's inner happiness. It's inner happiness. But at the same time, a sense of achievement, sense of uh, sense of something. Uh, to be happy Can about. Can you please assist your work or the That's why I pay. Do you feel it has evolved? If so, in which direction? Uh, it's a very ticklish and difficult question. An artist cannot really, frankly speaking, assess himself. Because the uh, artwork take, you know, hundreds of years to get it matured and fully understood by people. But from my point of view, from limited my perspective, I can say that yes, I am achieving. I am little. I am satisfied by myself. I am. I feel happy. My work is getting more and more mature. As we people say in art world, as you grow older, your art become younger. So my work become is becoming more minimal, more powerful, more vibrant, and more impactful. And I must say it's, it's evolving. It's becoming more and more younger, so to say. Where do you classify your work within the realm of abstraction? A uh, few of my art uh, creator friends are suggesting that I belong to third generation of New York School of Abstraction. It's a new uh, 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 all abstractionist, contemporary abstractionist. Uh, uh, we are uh, fully focusing on creating a new language, new style, and bring forward new thing in the art world. And uh, we can say that we can safely say that it belongs to third generation of New York School of Abstraction. Thank you so much, all my Instagram followers, all art lovers, especially abstract art lovers, uh, art creators, artists, and all my friends on Instagram and social media. Thank you so much, and see you soon, very soon. Thank you.